Svatantriya from the Sanskrit SVA meaning self and tantram meaning dependence self dependency or free will is the Kashmiri Shaivite concept of divine sovereignty Svatantriya is described as an energy that emanates from the supreme paramasiva a wave of motion inside consciousness spanda that acts as the fundament of the world or in another view the original word logos paravak it does not use any external instrument as it itself is the first stage of creation in antithesis with the Vedantic concept of Brahman, which is a mere conscious witness without effective power, being inflicted by the illusory power or Maya of the Brahman, in the Kashmiri Shaivite viewpoint creation is actively willed into existence by the Supreme Consciousness Shiva by the means of his irresistible will force This is an important aspect of the Pratyabhijna school of Kashmir Shaivism. Svatantriya is a concept that goes to the root of many spiritual matters in Kashmir Shaivism, like, the divine sovereignty of Shiva God, consciousness Ketanya, creative power Vimarsa, mantric efficiency and Kundalini. <laughs> divine sovereignty In its exception of divine sovereignty, Svatantriya is described as an absolute power of action, or, absolute power of freedom. This power arises from the mirror-like ability of the Supreme Consciousness to contain images the whole universe being a mere image shining inside this unique God Consciousness. Svatantriya has a number of traditional attributes such as, perfect fullness of the energy of will, self-sufficiency, autodetermination, the power of doing and undoing, essence of the subject, supreme creativity, sovereignty, source of knowledge and action and being beyond contradictions, it exists beyond laws of any kind and is the source of all laws in the universe. Supreme creative energy The Kashmir Shaivism theory of creation affirms that the world was willed into existence by the sovereign force of Shiva. Thus, the world has no external causes outside Siva's Svatantriya. This power creates multiplicity from the original unity of the Absolute, and as such, it exists inside and beyond Maya. It is the seed of the universe, the matrix of generative phonemes, the ultimate creative force. In relation to consciousness Disclaimer, on this topic there is a certain amount of melding and unification of the seemingly distinct concepts of will, freedom, consciousness, speech and bliss in the speciality texts. This is due to the insufficient ability of common language to describe the mystical states of consciousness. The Prakasa Vimarsa theory affirms the world is based on two principles, the self-shining conscious light and its ability to contain a reflection of itself and of the creation To reflect itself is to know absolute bliss thus, free will conscious reflection and bliss are three concepts describing the same reality. Bliss is the internal state of consciousness, its natural state. The same is true of Svatantriya, it too is a fundamental quality of the subject. Svatantriya is the first stage of creation, an indifferentiated energy, or, looking from bottom up, we could also say that it is the force that unifies all the energies of creation. The first creation of Svatantriya is the energy of will. Isha -sakti. Then come the energies of knowledge -sakti and action -kriya -sakti and together with the energy of consciousness -cit -sakti and the energy of bliss -ananda -sakti they form the supreme pentad of creation, the so-called pure creation. Everything related to consciousness is also related to svatantriya. Speech is seen in Kashmir Shaivism as differentiated in four classes, external vaikari, mental madhyama, subtle pasyanti, and supreme para. Svatantriya is equated to Paravak, the creative logos, logos spermatikos. In relation to mystical practices In the mystical practices of Kashmir Shaivism, Svatantriya is both the sovereign will of Shiva, solely deciding the descent of divine grace and the will of the adept as he becomes more and more submerged into the divine. According to Kashmir Shaivism, spiritual realization is more than a state of illumination defined as pure witness, non-dual consciousness or atma vyapti. Full spiritual realization means to know bliss ananda and to control the energies sakti and the mantras or, the so-called Shiva vyapti. The root of spiritual efficiency is svatantriya, the operative, dynamic aspect of the Absolute. 
An adept who reaches spiritual illumination needs to learn how to stabilize his experience. The Kashmir Shaivism scriptures declare that stability is based on the assimilation of the energy of Svatantriya. Thus, while the incipient practitioner aims for the experience of the non-dual consciousness, the advanced ones focus on the assimilation of all the energies into non-duality. Svatantriya being the root of all energies, it becomes automatically the final step of the spiritual practice. The will of such an advanced practitioner becomes more and more efficient as it identifies with the will of Shiva. Yet, his actions are necessarily without base in egoism, without the attributes of good or bad, and this is an attitude that defines the discipline of karma yoga. All the spiritual paths upayas, that of Shiva Sambhavopaya, that of Sakti Saktapaya, and that of the man Anavapaya are subsumed under the umbrella of Svatantriya as it is the sole mediator of divine grace. The adept who has attained Svatantriya is beyond the need for formal meditation, that is, for him to meditate or to act in everyday life is identical, he does all his actions from a state of perfect unity with Shiva from now on. This is the culmination of the Kashmiri Shaivite spiritual practice. Such an adept does not exert himself in maintaining this state of consciousness because it is his own nature. From his point of view, everything is made of just forms of consciousness, his own consciousness, also identified with the consciousness of Shiva at this stage. The energy he possesses is the risen form of Kundalini. His mantras have spiritual efficacy. His heart is the receptacle of all objects. Kashmir Shaivism doctrine affirms that nothing can compel Shiva to bestow the final spiritual realization, it is solely based on the unconditioned svatantriya, or, from the opposite perspective, there is no obstacle that can separate the disciple from becoming one with Shiva because he has svatantriya, which is the ultimate power that cannot be impeded by anything. Thus, in Kashmir Shaivism there is this paradoxical concept that nothing needs to be done, as the supreme realization can appear without effort, but also, no matter what effort one undergoes, he cannot compel Shiva to liberate his self Atman. Yet, this is not an invitation to abandon hard work but a justification for humility. In a meditation prescribed in Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, one is supposed to unite his vital energy prana with Svatantriya in the mystical force center that exists twelve finger widths above the head, Devadasanta. <laughs> Alternative names Svatantriya has a number of synonyms such as, Mahavaraya from Mahisvara which means Supreme Lord, or Isvarya similarly, from the word Isvara which also means Lord. It has been personalized as the goddess Devi, the virginal feminine deity Uma virginity being a symbol of existence outside the reach of the profane world and the playful goddess Kumari. Other scriptures also refer to Svatantriya as the glory of Shiva on account of it being identical to the ocean of uncreated light prakasa and cosmic bliss Ananda Siddhananda Gana. Citations <coughs> 